Hey everybody, I'm Mohammed, co-founder and CEO at Idogram, and we are calling from our Toronto office to show you one of our coolest features so far. This is a feature that I wanted the most for the past couple of years, and we are so excited to give it to all of you in a couple of hours. Uh, hey, my name is Aiden, and I'm a software engineer at Ideogram. I work on uh, data infrastructure. Hi, and I'm Chitwan. I'm one of the co-founders here, and I work on machine learning. We launched Idogram less than two years ago, and our mission is to help everyone become more creative. We think AI can help bringing your ideas to life quickly and efficiently, and as a result, you can think of much wider, more interesting ideas, and as you can see, we have an explosion of content on the internet. At Idogram, we've been at the forefront of image generation editing. We solved the spelling problem for you first, if you remember that, that was a year and a half ago. And here we are again, giving you Idogram character. We've been talking with a lot of users and they wanted character consistency to tell really compelling visual stories. A problem that hasn't been solved yet until now. Let's, let's jump in and let us show you a live demo. Yeah, so if you head to ideogram.ai, uh, you can now see a new uh, icon in the sidebar called character. So yeah, let's click on that. So it brings you to this page where you can create a character. And so you can add uh, a character either by taking a photo, uh, uploading a photo, or maybe choosing from one of your own creations or trying a sample. So yeah, let's try to upload a photo of our face. Looking good there. Looking good, looking good. Um, so yeah, so now we're brought to this new page where we can check out a lot of templates to use or try to prompt. Uh, let's check out some of the templates. So you guys are looking, looking pretty good. Maybe let's try a pirate. That one looks cool. Um, the sketch one. Yeah, the sketch yep. one looks nice. Do you have a twin? I do. I have a twin. I don't have a twin. With the twin but uh, yeah, maybe this will make me think I have a twin. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else? Let's try all of them. Try, try all of them. Yeah. 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 Let's keep trying. Keep trying. It's so easy to try all of these. Yeah. Just just one one click of a button. Yeah. Um. Maybe the bear one. Yeah. The bear. Oh, oh yeah. yeah the bear one. Well, that's my favorite. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Have the generations. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, this wow. is already like super fast. Um, okay. Yeah, so thank you. This is this is pretty this is pretty similar to me. I would say this is yeah this is quite good. And uh, if you notice, even like the hair, like the headband, this is exactly what it would like if I have like a headband on. Um, and yeah, this wow. sketch, this is wow. this is quite a good sketch. Pretty impressive. Um, if someone if someone showed this to me, I would not think it's uh, AI generated. This is yeah, this is pretty good. Um, and then yeah, this twin, twin uh, yeah. prompts, you mm -hmm. know. So now you have a twin. Now I have a twin. <laughs> I've always, always wanted to, you know, yeah. my long lost twin. I love the lighting on the face. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's really, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Blue lighting, yeah. really blue. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh wow. And yeah, even like you know different different angles, like a low shot here. Um, this works like perfectly mm -hmm. well. So, yeah. I like that one. And these, you know. Red, different red lighting. lighting. Yeah, I love the lighting yeah. changes here. Yeah, yeah, you can see the yeah the red on the face, right? And yeah. this is all from a single image, right? Right. I mean, we didn't even know it's possible to take a single image of a face and then create new angles, new expressions. Right. It's really wild. Yeah. So and, we have the beer. Yeah, for this one we have a bear. You remember? Thing. Yeah, and we were camping. Yeah, I know the bear attack and everything. It was a. <laughs> It was a hard time for me, but it was a very friendly one. Look at that one, like the one that uh, this is, is just yeah. touching your face. This is the one that saved me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this one. Oh, yeah, this I one. like this one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice, nice photo. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, we have a lot of templates to choose from. Um, yeah, you can also, you know, just prompt anything you want. So let's try maybe like uh, shock. Some yeah, shock, shock expression. Shock expression yeah. Uh, can you uh, render like yourself from different views, like a side view? Yeah, yeah. So we could try like a side view. Um, yeah, maybe like uh, anime. You could, you could, you could imagine yourself as an anime character. So like uh, as an anime. And you just have to write a couple of words. Right. Exactly. Like, uh, 
yeah, um, the massive prompt takes care of it. Right, as you can see where you have some regenerations, like, uh, awesome. well, okay. yeah, like, this completely changed uh, <laughs> my expression, good. you know, I'm looking quite shocked here. <laughs> Time to um, start your own YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, totally, yeah, you could, I could, I could definitely see if you're, like, uh, you know, trying to get, like, thumbnails or any kind of, uh, yeah, just YouTube work in general, this could be very useful, uh, and it's free, too, so, mm -hmm. yeah, try it out. Um, yeah, yeah, side view. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, a. Uh, yeah, pretty good side view. Like, I don't know if you can see, but uh, this is this is pretty much what I look like from the side. So, yeah, cool. Um, and then, yeah, the anime? Yeah, yeah, so you can also change the style. So let's say, like, put the fiction. We have uh, two styles. Style. We have the realistic style and the fiction style. Fiction style is ideal for, you know, more artistic output, put like anime or sketch, and realistic is just for photography. Right. And, uh... Yeah, so I also chose to put a uh, magic prompt off just because uh, magic prompt likes to add a lot of details. And uh, for this, let's just say uh, I just want a very like plain anime character. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, as you can see, this is this is pretty. Oops. Whoa, this is pretty, pretty much me. This is yeah. like you shocked? Was that <laughs> <laughs> you shocked? No, oh, this is, yeah, this is me shocked as an anime character. Um, and yeah, riding a motorbike, you know, wow. everything is consistent with respect mm -hmm. to the details. Uh, yeah, hair, face, all that stuff. Oh. And uh, yeah, my personal favorite feature you can do with this is uh, turning yourself into animals. So um, yeah, so let's put back the realistic and magic prompts. And so I can say like, uh, click this, as a, as a cow, or like maybe like as a human cow hybrid. And uh, yeah, it'll give us some pretty, pretty hilarious results, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can also see this integrates with our existing tooling. So like, you can change aspect ratio. Um, you can change like the quality of the rendering. So you do like turbo default quality. Maybe right? turbo, it's going to be even turbo. faster. Oh, right, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can change the magic prompt and the, the style. So yeah, so our generations are here. You can really see some <laughs> right. of them. So that the cow has your hairstyle. It has my hair, exactly, <laughs> yes. If this were, so good. This, is, this has my face, so. Kind of scary, <laughs> but yeah, I mean this this is this is Pretty this good. is amazing. This is me as a cow. Um, as close as it gets. Yeah, and then human oh, cow. Wow. Oh, this is this is amazing. Okay, okay, I would use this as my LinkedIn <laughs> LinkedIn profile picture. Um, Pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah, that's just like a, a taste of what you can do with a character on its own. And uh, I'll pass it over to Chitwan to talk about inpainting. Thanks, Aiden. Uh, so another feature that we support is uh, character replacement. And uh, so far, Aiden has been generating images from scratch based on character conditioning. But what we can also do is take an existing image and uh, inpaint characters into them. Uh, so one of the examples I'm going to use is uh, of one of our colleagues, Alex, who worked incredibly hard on this project but couldn't be here in the Toronto office today. Um, and we have a photo of ourselves from the Toronto office, so I'm going to inpaint Alex into Just that. Add him in. Yeah, and let's see how it works. So I already happen to have an image of Alex, so I can just upload that image. I don't need to take a selfie all the time. And, uh, and we're gonna use the magic fill feature here. So let's upload uh, the image that we have of ourselves. And I'm gonna click the magic fill feature here. And let's say we want to replace Aiden here with Alex. So it's as simple as just like creating this simple mask on top of Aiden's face and uh, clicking next. And now let's say I type a very simple prompt, three people. And uh, let's see what happens. So this feature allows you to add multiple characters in a single image, which is not something that we are currently natively supporting. It will come soon. But right now, you can just control which character goes in, in, in the image at what place. If you have a reference image of your own, if you have an image with the perfect composition, you can you can do all of these crazy things with this model right now. Uh, so yeah, OK, as you can see. Oh, we have Alex uh, here. We have, uh, it doesn't look as if Alex is not in Toronto right now. I think Alex is, Alex is here, basically. And you can see that the model is also improvising on the poses that Alex can have based on the, based on the posture that Aiden has in the original image. And another uh, thing that I really like is that the lighting gets perfectly adjusted according to the original image. It's so really hard is, to do. Yeah. Mm. And this is much more powerful than a typical in-painting feature. And you, you just saw how easy it was to do something like this. Um, and 
Another very fun use case that I really like is uh, taking your favorite memes and not only modifying the text of those memes that we usually do, but also in painting yourself in that meme. So I'm going to try that out as well, and let's see how that goes. So I also happen to have a Drake meme, which is one of the most famous memes out there. And uh, let's say we do a magic fill on the Drake's face here. Um, so let's say we first do magic fill here. And this time, I'm going to use uh, our co-founder William's face. So I'm going to remove this character here and then do another upload. And I have a Williams image here. And let's say we modify this to something like a meme. Uh, let's just wait till that image gets processed. Uh, all right, so now let's do magic fill and, uh, and see what happens. Um, and uh, yeah, another thing I want to highlight is how fast this all is. You don't have to upload 10 photos of yourself. You don't have to wait for your model, custom model to get trained. You just upload one photo with any lighting, any posture, and the model just works. Um, all right, so we already have the image. And as wow, you can see, so good. now we have William in this meme um, with different expressions. I like and that one. I like how this has blended well with the existing meme. It doesn't look like I have in-painted someone. This is the third one. You like this one? Yeah. OK, yeah. so now let's take this image further. Let's go one step further and magic fill the second Drake's face to make it a yes. complete shareable meme. So, okay, we're going to take Drake's face here and uh, exactly the same prompt, nothing changes so, here, and just magic fill again. And let's just see what happens. Blazingly fast. Blazing okay. fast. It, it feels like other image generators are watching us right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, as you can see, yeah, again, it's just so fast. That's what I love about this. And especially with templates, you can just generate these things so quickly. OK, so we have uh, the final image here. And uh, yeah, I love all of these. This is this is, this pretty, is, good. This is pretty good. So I'm going to share this with William and ask him to share on his Twitter. Um, but yeah, this is just like one example of the fun aspect of this model that you can that you can have. We can't be more excited to see what you create with Idogram character. We're going to bring it to all of you, whether you're a paid user or a free user, or you don't have an Idogram account, please head to Idogram and create an account. and. The team is working hard behind us to bring this to all of you hopefully in a couple of hours. And this is just the beginning of our visual consistency effort. We want to do more cool placement uh, features like product placement. Uh, we want to do multiple character placements. And then we've seen your YouTube comments as well. Uh, and we're going to share some updates about our video plans, hopefully soon. Let's get back to work and ship this for you as soon as possible. Thanks so much. Thank Thanks. you.